Black holes are everywhere, and the supermassive ones, we believe, are in the centers of every galaxy. And they behave similarly in that if you get too close to them, you are sucked into the event horizon and you disappear forever. What is inside a black hole? So a black hole is uh, made of two components, the so-called singularity, where all of the mass resides, presumably, and it's that point where all the strangeness happens. It's a point in space where the, the matter has been crushed basically out of existence. The mass remains, but the spatial dimension is zero. And that's where the weirdness comes from, because, you know, what does it mean to have something that's zero size? Well, this, this zero dimension means that the density is infinite, and that causes the extreme gravitational field of the black hole. Surrounding that is the so-called event horizon. Uh, we don't know what happens between the event horizon and the singularity. Once material falls through the event horizon, we can't know what happens because nothing comes out of the black hole. What causes black holes? Well, there are various types of black holes the so-called stellar-sized black holes that have a mass of five to tens of times the mass of the sun are caused as the violent end state of a uh, large star uh, much larger than our sun. When it ends its life, it ends it explosively violently and blows up uh, as a supernova. And one of the possible outcomes is a black hole. The core collapses, that mass collapses into nothing, the singularity, and forms a stellar-sized black hole. Uh, supermassive black holes that are found in the centers of every galaxy, that's a, a more difficult question. We don't quite know exactly where they come from, uh, possibly from the merger of smaller black holes over time. What is the closest black hole to Earth? Well, again, we have to look at the different types of black holes. So the supermassive black hole that's closest to the Earth is the one that's in the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, the so-called Sagittarius A star. And that's some 26,000 light years away. But the closest stellar-sized black hole that's about 10 times uh, as massive as our sun is uh, much closer at about 1,500 light years away from the Earth. That doesn't mean that there aren't closer black holes to our solar system, it's just that we don't know uh, whether they exist or not. What is a black hole made of? Well, all the matter that falls into the black hole, the mass is still there. Whether it's in the form of, of matter before it fell in or not is, is unknown, but its mass remains. Uh, and basically that's, what's, that's what the black hole is. So the mass is in the singularity, and uh, presumably there's the vacuum of space outside of that. But we don't know whether that's the case or not. Now, uh, black holes are very simple uh, astrophysical objects. They have mass, uh, they can spin, and they have electric charge. What happens when a black hole is created? Well, the black holes that we know how they form, the stellar-sized black holes, are the, again, the violent end states of uh, massive stars larger than our sun. Uh, when those stars die, their core regions, the central part of them, collapses into nothing, which forms the singularity, and then you have the, the black hole. In that sort of environment, the material that's very close to the event horizon will get sucked into the black hole. But once that's dissipated into space, the black hole just uh, remains isolated in space unless it goes near some other form of matter that might be sucked into it. Are black holes rare? On the contrary, uh, black holes are everywhere. And the supermassive ones, we believe, are in the centers of every galaxy. The stellar-sized black holes, there are maybe hundreds of millions of them throughout our Milky Way galaxy alone, and, and so presumably uh, the same numbers in other galaxies as well. Is a black hole and a wormhole the same thing? Well, they're slightly different uh, uh, phenomena, astrophysical phenomena. They're, they're both caused by gravity. Uh, I should note that black holes uh, were postulated by Einstein, and we now know they exist. Wormholes uh, f come out of the uh, theory of relativity as well, but we have yet to detect a wormhole. So a black hole seems to be an end state for matter, whereas a wormhole might be a connection between two points in the universe, uh, both caused by uh, extreme gravity situations. Does a black hole have a magnetic field? Uh, yes. 
Uh, a black hole can have a magnetic field, and in these supermassive black holes that are in the centers of galaxies, if they are feeding, as we say, that is, material is falling into them, that material forms a disk that rotates around the black hole, and the black hole's magnetic field and the magnetic field of the disk form things called jets. These are massive, powerful um, astrophysical phenomenon that are in the centers of many galaxies, many galaxies called active galactic nuclei. Is it possible that our entire observable universe is inside of a black hole? Uh, this is an intriguing question. I suppose the answer could be yes. Uh, I'm not aware of any way that we can test this, but it's certainly a possibility. The Big Bang event started off as a singularity, and who knows, was that uh, the singularity of a, of, a, of a massive black hole? Perhaps. Where does something that goes into a black hole singularity go? Uh, well, that, that's a good question. And so this goes to the realm of science fiction. Take us into the black hole. Presumably the singularity is a, is a physical space without, without uh, physical dimension, however. And uh, presumably all the matter is there and it remains there. Uh, this is a question that's difficult to answer because of that extreme state of the singularity. Fundamentally that it has zero dimension. The laws of nature that would describe that sort of area of space uh, don't work because we have a zero in the denominator of the equations and so the equations don't work for us. And so it's a, it's a very difficult question to answer, uh, but presumably the mass that falls in stays in the singularity and remains there uh, for, for the life of the black hole.